Verisafe is an absence of voltage tester, or AVT. This patent pending device tests for the absence of voltage on electrical equipment. Verisafe conducts the same test procedure required by NFPA 70E to verify that equipment is electrically safe to work on. This installed tester automates the absence of voltage test by testing the tester, verifying installation, checking for voltage, again verifying installation, and then retesting itself. These steps are performed in a few seconds with the touch of a button. The Verisafe AVT consists of three components, the indicator module, the isolation module, and the system cable. The indicator module, which serves as the user interface, is typically installed in the door of the electrical panel. This module is designed to keep hazardous voltage away from the user. The isolation module is located inside the panel. This component can be mounted on a DIN rail or attached to a sub-panel. Sensor leads from the isolation module connect to the power conductors inside the panel. There are two sensor leads for each power phase, plus two leads for ground. The system cable is used to connect the isolation module and the indicator module. This provides communication between the components. The ABT sensor lead should be terminated to each phase of the power conductors at the point in the equipment where you would normally test for voltage. There are two sensor leads for each phase. This enables Verisafe to perform a continuity test to ensure that the device is properly connected to the power conductors. It is important that the sensor leads are not mechanically connected to each other. This ensures the integrity of the test the tester function and installation test. There are also two ground leads that must be mechanically separated. When AC voltage is detected, the red LEDs are lit. When the power is removed in the panel, the red LEDs go out. However, the lack of red LEDs does not necessarily mean the panel is de-energized and safe to work on. To operate the ABT, simply press the test button. At this point, the device is performing a self-test, verifying installation, checking for any AC or DC voltage on the system, phase to phase, phase to ground, on all phases. If the equipment has tested safe, then the devices provide a green light. If the test fails, the device gives a solid yellow caution light. In this case, we get a green light indicating that absence of voltage is confirmed. But what if you get a yellow caution light? Let's demonstrate this condition. We will press the button to activate the test. The device returns a yellow caution light, indicating that there was a problem with the test. This could be from residual voltage in the system or a disconnected sensor lead. In this case, there is still DC voltage in the system, illustrated by this cooling fan still turning. Once the fan stops turning, we can try the test again. This time we get the green light, which means that the AVT has verified the absence of voltage in the equipment. But what if the AVT is not installed correctly? For example, if one of the sensor leads is not connected to the power conductors. To illustrate this condition, we will break the sensor connection on line 1. You will notice that L1 on the indicator is not lit. When we push the button to test the system, we receive a yellow caution light which tells us that there was a problem. In this case, there is not any residual energy in the system. Therefore, the problem would be with the tester installation. The Verisafe absence of voltage tester minimizes risks to workers and reduces the time and complexity of performing absence of voltage testing. Verisafe, the safe way to verify the absence of voltage.